What's good, everybody? Your boy Evan Bowser here, back for another episode of Let Us Eat. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, Paris Underwood. He's a producer, designer, he's the host of his own radio show at USC, and he's a DJ. We're about to go chop it up over some vegetarian ramen right around the corner on Lankershim at this spot called Gokoku Vegetarian Ramen. I expect it to be super fi, mm -hmm. so stick around for this one. Do you have like a favorite, a favorite meat that you like put in your ramen? I just go with the pork they have, uh, like the, what's it called, tonkotsu pork, you know. I mean, yes, back in my meat eating days, that was a preference well, of see, mine they, as well. They'll probably have like some kind of substitute, some kind of crazy like pork yeah. substitute there. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, it's completely vegetarian, so I definitely want to see like, I'm sure they have like a tofu bowl, obviously, but yeah. I'm excited to see if they have any, um, you know, like meat substitutes or anything like that. The main part of ramen is the broth, and that's made with pork, so, like, I'm excited to see how they substitute that, you know? Yeah. So how long have you been um, designing, man? Hmm. Well, I guess you could say, like, since I was a kid. I've just been doing it on the side, like, for fun. Right. Um, started off back in kid pics, back in elementary school, you know? Yeah. Um, and then it kind of gradually progressed to, like, early versions of Photoshop. I use, like, CS6. I still use CS6, actually. Um, and then I took one design class at USC and that kind of just showed me how to use Illustrator and like how to actually understand Photoshop So I've just been teaching myself like through YouTube and just through practice Mostly for music like for album art. Yeah, that reminds me. Don't you also have like a project in the works like on the music front? Yeah, yeah, I've been working on an album. It's called um, It's called friendly ghost and it's yeah. dropping later this August Oh, dope. and yeah, like right now, a lot of the beats are finished. I've just been working on adding vocals and touching things up, mixing and mastering. Dude, I'm super hyped to hear it. Thank you, bro. I'm a big fan of your music. This guy is one of my best friends, but not even kidding, actually one of my favorite producers. Like, I'm not even like, I'm not even just saying that. Like, he's so fire. If you haven't been on the like Perry SoundCloud page, you're like three years in the past. Like, you're still <laughs> living like three years in the past. So, thank you, bro. Make sure you get up on that. Favorite producers go. Ooh, loaded question. Flying Lotus, um, Esta, Drew's that dude, Monty Booker, um, Daft Punk, definitely, Shigeto, who else? I'd say no such thing is in there. Really? Yeah. I mean, oh, definitely Tori Ma, like Tori yeah, Ma's production. Of course. Yeah. yeah, that's my list. Heck I yeah. know there are more on there, but, you know, those are the main ones. You're somewhat of a self-proclaimed uh, anime connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, I can say that. What are your favorite anime? Man, favorite anime, I gotta give you another list. Uh, okay, so Naruto, I know before you judge me on being like a basic Ah, Naruto's base my fave. Anime fan. No, no, for those viewers out there like, oh, he just watches Naruto, he doesn't really watch anime. No, I go deep with it. Okay. <laughs> First, so Evangelion, I know it's not very deep, but let me just list a few more. Um, Psychopaths, Kill la Kill, Samurai Champloo, Space Dandy, Death Note. What else, what else, what else? Sword Art Online, Online Season 1, I'm, I'm gonna give him that. The Akira Movie, Ghost in the Shell. Um, every film by Hayao Miyazaki, especially Mononoke and Spirited Away. And, dang, another some, some more. Steins Gate's a good one. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you know. Yeah, those are dang, just a few. That's <laughs> just a few, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I said, anime connoisseur.
this year? Favorite albums, man. Um, this has been such a long year. I forget what's even come out. Kids to Ghost. Yeah, it's sure. great. Um, N uh, Nasir. Yeah. I'm only thinking of Kanye right now. I like that one. What too. else dropped this year? Wow. Um, remind me. That MGMT record was fire. Hmm. Um, I haven't heard it. Oh yeah, dude, it's really good. It's definitely different for them though. And then what else? Because you're, um, hmm. Cardi B's album, it's pretty good. What well, came out like early in the year though? That Prime album was pretty good, like Prime 2. Yeah, I'm waiting for Astro World too. Hmm. Hmm. The Black Panther album. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn, Damn. this is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm turning about, into young Gordon Ramsay on this show. I'm going to start calling all the food beautiful. For those of you who don't know, I've known Evan since I was in 7th grade. Since before 7th grade. Um, so, we were talking about back in 7th grade, like, we were both so different, you know? And I'm glad, like, we never really changed. Yeah. Changed, like, to fit in in high school, you right. know? Because now I feel, like, so much better about myself. Like, I probably wouldn't be doing music, probably wouldn't continue with, with art or anything yeah. like that if I didn't stay true to myself. It sounds cheesy, but... No, you know. no, it's true. So, you said earlier that you really want to do graphic design for your albums, but that's not true. You're also the head graphic designer for Boba Squad, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually wearing the hat right now. So, what exactly is Boba Squad? All right, so Boba Squad, it was like, it started off in high school with Eli, I mean, yeah, like our close friend Eli. Um, he had never had Boba before, so me and Jordan took him to a Boba place, yeah. and he just like freaked out. He just got super into it, started hitting all the other Boba places, and we're like, at first we're like, chill, bro, like it's, yeah. it's just a drink. Right. Um, but it, yeah, it kind of, it grew, grew, um, and then he started taking snaps and sending them to people, hashtag yeah. Boba Squad, like as, as just as a joke. Um, and then other people started sending them back to us, like, what is it? And we're like, hey, this is starting to grow as a thing. Right. Let's um, all post them in one location. So yeah. we made an Instagram page, and we just post all the photos there. Damn. And then we started making merch for it, so we have hats. Yeah. And last year, no, wow, it's two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, we had a pop-up shop where we sold the hats and actually made boba and DJ. Dang. How do so you make the boba? I remember that. We just we used a crock pot. Oh right. We, didn't, right. we actually didn't know what we were doing, but now I work at yeah. Boba Bear. They use this exact same thing. That's hilarious. Mm. Sounds like you have a uh, budding career in bobology. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to give a big shout out to Gokoku Vegetarian Ramen. That was some of the best ramen I've ever had. I loved every single bit of it, every single sip. It was very delicious. Um, so thanks to the manager for letting us come come through, have lunch with my guy Paris. You know, now it's Friday afternoon. We might go see this movie that I thought was fire. You guys have a good one. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do it!